Hello, Hikaren out there, and uh, look, it's a face cam. And um, this is actually something that I put together myself because there is no actual face cam module for recording when it comes to Linux. There is an overlay on FFmpeg, but uh, it's very laggy and it's really awkward to set up. And it's not good for live streaming, which I did uh, last Friday. Sadly, the uh, live stream did not save to my Twitch channel for some reason. Uh, even though I have told Twitch to archive it, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to speak. Uh, I'm going to speak about this uh, awesome um, uh, face cam feed right here, as you can see. Uh, yeah. And um, I will also be doing some um, fishing. Anyway, the problem with face cam feed on uh, Linux is that you're forced to have a uh, actual window of the face cam feed or webcam feed on the screen, which kind of obs it kind of obscures your view of the screen. And for RuneScape, it kind of makes it so that you cannot use the minimap, since that's the usual place where you face uh, place the face cam feed or we webcam feed, whatever. And that is what I actually managed to solve with this. I wrote my own script using uh, Perl and uh, XDo tool, and I got a key token. Okay, well, that's good. Um, the thing is that I decided that, um, okay, fine, I, I, I want to solve this issue. I cannot use the overlays because they are laggy for live streams. So how do I solve this? And I came up with that I could use uh, mPlayer to display the webcam feed without it having too much lag. It also supports a frame drop option for slow computers, which is convenient in case I had a slow computer, which I don't have anymore. And uh, I then used the xdo tool to, um, uh, fig uh, to track the cursor so that I can find out if it actually goes uh, inside a region, which I have set to be the size of my um, minimap. So if I take my cursor, which you See there, I'm pointing at the screen as if you could see it, uh, me pointing there. And if I move it over to my face cam field, which is placed over my minimap, I disappear. So now you don't see me, but when I move the cursor off my minimap again, you can see me. So I also made it so that uh, the face cam field or webcam field is. Uh, transparent to a certain degree. I think I made so that it's 10-15% transparent, maybe 5%. So that when you're live streaming, your users will not see uh, the minimap, but they will see the webcam feed, but you'll be able to see the minimap. Making this a useful replacement for the overlays that do not exist. And Actually, let me get the thing here. Uh, let me make sure that it's always on top so you can actually see it. If you look at the, uh, this terminal window now, if I move my cur uh, cursor around, you see it does not output anything. But if I move it over here, you will see that it it's telling me the location of the cursor because it detected, oh, hey, it's inside that region you made. And then move it out, it will stop doing that. So th this make it makes it very easy to do face cams on Linux now. But my question is, should I make this a RSU client module? Because I, I'm not sure if I can make it a module because it's not really module friendly there because it requires interaction with the terminal in order to stop the whole thing from working. 
but uh, if this is really wanted as a module for the RSU client, I I will try and make one, and I hope that I will be able to actually make one for you to use. And currently, the only region you can set up is actually for uh, the top right corner, and it's a hard coded. It's on a hard coded region size and location, so it's not really useful for everyone unless they actually have the minimap in the top right corner, like I do. So, anyway, leave a comment in the video and um, tell me if you want this as a RuneScape Unix client module. If if a lot of people want it, I will actually look around into making one. However, it does have a few dependencies. Uh, dependencies. It has xwin info as a dependency, transset as a dependency, xduto as a dependency, Perl as a dependency, and mplayer as a dependency. So it does have quite a few dependencies, and most of those are not actually in your operating system by default. So yeah, it's something you will have to be aware of. So yeah. Uh, anyway, now you have seen my face in my vi in the video, and I can actually do face cams now. So yeah, hooray! And I hope you have have a nice day. I will try and continue fishing this uh, cave fish, which. Uh, really like to move locations as soon as I oh okay they're back there never mind then okay anyway have a nice day see you guys later bye bye